Contact your AAA travel agent in Laguna Hills to learn about the American Queen and how you can experience the splendor of American river cruising. Welcome back, folks. Well, have you ever thought about uh, kind of reliving the past, so to speak, by going up and down one of the great rivers in uh, mid-America or uh, well, really up in the Pacific Northwest as well on a romantic sternwheeler steamboat? Well, you can do that, even though uh, they might have passed their heyday, gone past their heyday from all those years ago. Remember the great movie Steamboat? We have a gentleman here from that company and uh, also from AAA Travel. Welcome to the both of you, Nadia. Thank you. Nice to see you nice again you from too. AAA Travel and hi Cooper. Yes, and you, you are from the American Steamboat. American Boat Queen Steamboat Company. Yeah, yes. wonderful. And I uh, had a chance to look at a little bit this online and it looks just like, like you're stepping into the past exactly. with all the modern conveniences. Tell me a little bit about this, uh, the company as a whole, you've got different routes, but how long have you been around and uh, how did you acquire these? Are they uh, sort of um, rehabs from the past that you refurbish or are they brand new? No, the American Queen was launched in 1995. Okay. I, I worked for the Delta Queen Steamboat Company. I remember that. For one. 26 years. Yeah. And so I was there for the construction of the American Queen. Mm -hmm. uh, the last owner decided to shut down the company. Mm -hmm. However, two years ago, we got some new investors and we started the American Queen Steamboat Company. Okay. So the American Queen came out in 1995, but she's been extensively remodeled and refurbished. It's just like brand new. It's better than brand new. Okay, I seem to remember that story. Yeah. Uh, and you worked for them back then. Yes, correct. Yeah, how the Delta Queen was, uh, for some reason, they didn't, the government didn't deem it steam uh, worthy, right. overnight stay worthy or something like that. It's, I guess it st sits in dry dock somewhere. It's now a it's, hotel in Chattanooga. Oh, okay. Believe well, it's, it or not. it's so nice though that a new company emerged and uh, were able to take some of these ships and uh, refurbish them and go. That is great. Well, the American Queen is the largest yeah. steamboat ever built for cruising on inland rivers. Wow, it is large. If you haven't seen it, we got some pictures here and you can uh, look at pictures as well that are, well, we, we, we'll show it in just a minute. Tell me a little bit about the whole ambiance of these, uh, of the American uh, it, Queen. Well, it's a time capsule experience. Even though it holds 432 guests, it's like you hit it right at the beginning, going back to another century. You know, Mark yeah. Twain said when man can travel 700 miles an hour, he'll want to go seven again. Yeah. And that's the experience that we provide for our guests. So, and we've become all inclusive. Every cruise includes a hotel, a deluxe hotel in the port city at the front end. Okay. So you fly the day before. Mm -hmm. You overnight, you get porterage and taxes and full American breakfast. And we have a hospitality desk in the hotel. And then we transfer you to the American Queen. Okay. And while cruising, you get all your shore excursions. All your basic shore excursions are included. And uh, beer and wine with dinner, bottled water, soft drinks, fancy coffees all included, 24-hour room service all included. So we don't nickel and dime you at all. Right, and I should mention about the food because everyone knows that's what I'm interested in. I went online and looked at that and uh, the food looks wonderful and it sort of fits the area that that excursion is, doesn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Nadia mentioned earlier, asked if we had the same corporate chef de cuisine, and we do, her name is Regina Charbonneau, she lives in Natchez, Mississippi, mm -hmm. and so this is a very strong uh, American and Southern, I mean, from the crawfish etouffee and the jambalaya to you name it. Yeah, the shrimp and grits, that's what, yeah. that's what got me. Shrimp and grits. Nadia, AAA travel are folks that can really help out in all kinds of your travel needs, yes. but they would be the, uh, the people would call you folks to get you started 
uh, to get them started on uh, booking with American Queen Steamboat right. Company. There are many excursions available at different times of the year, correct? Just right, depend, I saw you had like a fall foliage yes, tour as well. Right, There's, they have themes, they have a baseball theme, they have the um, fall foliage, but many ways this cruise will give you the American culture. It's mm -hmm. the best way to go through and see America and it would be great to do transitional grandparents, their, chil their grandkids, um, parents with their children, to teach them all about America. They do a wonderful job and with AAA, we give discounts um, for uh, full, if you pay in full, you get up to $800 off. We have onboard credit up to $140 for our members. And a lot of people don't know that if they've gone to Hawaii and taken a pleasant Hawaiian vacation, they have a bounce back certificate that will actually give them $50 off on this as well. Oh, that's nice. So instead of that sitting in the drawer, you can use it. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Hi, um, looking over uh, these brochures, also like I said, I looked on uh, online, and one of the things your, uh, your company emphasizes and you talk about a little bit are you have history tours basically, and that the Lewis and Clark expedition excursion, the Mark Twain, so people can kind of relive these historic moments and I'm sure part of the tour or part of the excursion and the I keep saying tour because there's off boat tours as well you're gonna get a lot of history involved with this well, as well. We have a River Lorien on every single... A River Lorien. Yeah. A River no, Lorien is kind of a cross between a historian and a storyteller <laughs> oh, and a okay. and a, somebody who knows I Every never heard that term, but that sounds along good. the river. Yeah, we made it up. It really works. We have a Mark Twain, uh, the best one I've ever seen, on every cruise of the Upper Mississippi, because between St. Louis and St. Paul, we visit Mark Twain's boyhood hometown of Hannibal, Missouri. Okay. All right. And of course, on the Columbia River, it's the Lewis and Clark Voyage of Discovery experience. What a great way to teach your kids. Not yeah. only the, yeah. a great literary. Um, art, but history. I it mean, would be, really yeah, great. that's a great way. Tell me a little bit about the staterooms that are available here. Right. I know there's different There are 14 stateroom categories on the American Queen, including a, a very small number of inside and outside singles mm -hmm. for someone who is single, doesn't have a traveling companion. And so we have single prices. Okay. And there's everything from luxury suites of uh, nearly 400 square feet to uh, average about 200 square feet, an okay. outside cabin. Um, many of the folks here at Leisure World are used to the ships where every outside cabin has a balcony. Mm -hmm. We call them <clears throat> verandas because, of course, we're in the south. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, we have about 28 verandas uh, on the American Queen. And you can see we've added the bird's eye aerial view Pictures yeah, on the brochure here, and I, brochure I have to remark on the furnishings are absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. absolutely. They're very Colonial. period mm -hmm. oriented, aren't they? They yeah. are. Yeah, yeah real we, nice. We had uh, an antiques buyer, we were headquartered in New Orleans in those days, who actually came out to Southern California and went to Orange, Old Town Orange, looking for antiques really? for the American wow. Queen when we were building her. Yeah. So, people who might travel on here may see things that came from just a few miles away from here. That's yes. incredible. Yes. Might have come from uh, grandma's house. Yeah, it might have. And if you've been everywhere around the world, why not go to the U.S.? And this is a great way to see it. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I think you're yeah. exactly right on that. Yeah, I, many of the folks here have been there, done that in terms of a European river cruise. Mm -hmm. And now it's not a lot of fun, the long flights and right. the time involved. It's exhausting. Here we are in the heartland of America. Yeah. And on April 5th of next year, we're starting the American Empress on the Columbia River out of Portland. You're right, and uh, that one sounds fun. And that's now, close. You can Amtrak it or drive it or it's a short flight. Now, you have um, excursions for the rest of the year. Can people book all the way through next year as well, yes, Nadia? Or is can. It? Okay. Yes, they can. It's a good idea to plan. And 
and again, do the full and pay and you get the $800 discount, it just is it's a great way to save and plan for your vacations. And I notice on the brochures there are deck plans, so can someone say if, if it's available, I would like this room right here? Of course, of okay. course. And American uh, Steamboat Company works with us um, as far as accommodating each guest with any of their needs, and they're just wonderful. And that way they can also book their flight through your folks and as well. And we can well. do the flights and do the accommodations. Again, they have the pre-night that they include, but if they'd want to do longer, we could do that. We could add any excursions that they don't um, have on the with American Steamboat. But um, And what's yeah. really nice is, as you said, hi, that... Uh, the flights are going to be relatively short because yes. you're going to mid-America or up to Portland or something like that and uh, being able to do that and then relaxing that first day you're not like is the flight right. is the flight getting here on time is it going to be delayed exactly. am I going to miss my boat will they have a night to stay in you the Port City right Hotel. On the head. People yeah. Yeah. could and the old days did miss a departure sure. if there were problems with well, the airlines. And, and many people they don't want know. to spend the extra funds on doing that, but it's all included with this company, yeah. which makes it a lot easier to travel. All right, so stop by uh, AAA Travel or give them a call, and you can talk to Nadia and uh, pick up some brochures on this. She can go over all the different excursions. They, there's a lot of them, and all the there's some special themed ones, all kinds that you can go on. An exciting way to see America. The yes, American Queen Steamboat. A lot of fun. Thank Thanks you. for coming on. I really appreciate it. Thank nice you. to see you nice again, to Nadia. See you. My pleasure. And folks, we'll be uh, right back. We'll hear about uh, that media and communications meeting we had yesterday. Have you ever wondered what this country looked like to its early explorers and pioneers? The great rivers of America were the highways of early exploration. Stories and surprises lie around every bend, surrounded by magnificent scenery. Our journeys through the heartland offer a unique perspective on America's history, culture, and landscape that you can't get anywhere else. Contact your AAA travel agent in Laguna Hills to learn about the American Queen and how you can experience the splendor of American river cruising.